Hey guys, it's Jack Miar from the Reddit Rivals, and we are here today to look at day four of the daily campaigns, Siku's Horizon. So we're going to jump right in here, and as many of you know, the Ice Ancients are probably the easiest to complete because of Forveil. Um, he's my most used and probably still my favorite overall Ancient to use. So uh, as I've mentioned in many of the other daily campaign videos, it's really important to make sure that you start the daily campaign after losing a streak. So you start at the zero mark, which is is going to make your first three bases uh, much easier. Um, in this case, the three bases for the daily campaign. So we're looking at a stronghold nine here and uh, drop my ancient in the bomb corner out of range of anti-air, dropping in all of our troops there, wardens, wardens, uh, tanks, paladins, etc. And they're going to go right into the stronghold there. Use my Ancient to freeze things up just so they take a little bit less damage. There's uh, some elementals and it's already over. So uh, just going to be a pretty quick clear here. No uh, super important damage that we need to worry about from the spell towers. And uh, just going to go ahead and burn that mana and get a lot of summons out so they can do some extra damage. And the clear will take a little bit faster here. So just fast forwarding. Want to get all the gold that's available there. And that's a wrap for attack one. Sure would be nice if we could get some more gold from these daily campaigns since we're burning uh, our battle stones on them, but uh, hopefully some changes will be made there uh, since at this stronghold level, gold is definitely a commodity that we need more of. All right, second attack, stronghold 9 as well. Uh, this base is very spread out, so we're just going to fast forward here, let Forveil get some built-up mana uh, from these portals on the outside while taking no damage. And since we're clearing on the side, we're just going to go ahead and send everything in from the bottom, even though the top may be a little bit more accessible. So dropping the Maulers there to tank for the Spell Tower and some of the AoE. There's all our Wardens and Paladins behind. Get those shielded up since they're going to take the most damage. And now there's nothing that my Dragon's going to be hit from damage-wise. So he's just going to fly over there and keep things frozen while my troops get in and do a lot of damage to start clearing out the center. And again, not a whole lot of incoming damage because of the freeze and my groupings of paladins. And uh, it's, again, already over. Haven't really lost many troops until they get to the stronghold there with all those centralized watchtowers. Base is dead. Drop the summons to get a little bit of extra DPS. And there goes the last gold. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out early. And finally, attack number three. Eighty-five K gold, not bad. So probably another stronghold nine or ten. We've got a ten this time. And uh, looking at this base, pretty um, symmetrical here. So we're going to go ahead and create a funnel on the top since we're not squished into the corner on the bottom side. Fly them over to the other side. And I tell you, one of the biggest issues that I've been starting to see now, uh, people are becoming much smarter with their base layouts uh, and making those troops wander to places that you're not wanting them to. So creating the funnel is important. Sometimes those troops just wander for no reason. So in this case, most of my troops are centralized there. The maulers have broken through the wall. So I want my troops to filter right in through the top. But you can see that top left group of wardens has decided to start circling the base. And there's nothing that you can really do about it. Uh, I will say that uh, Tokimi has been great for that. Her second ability, Rewinding Your Troops, uh, has allowed me to fix some funneling problems on some of the more difficult bases and uh, has, has been advantageous against some of those more uh, difficult layouts where the troops like to wander. So uh, maybe try her out. Everyone gets her by day 30 of playing. Uh, the base is down, got all the gold, exiting out here. So that's day four. Here's our chest. Um, as you can see here, again, lots of elementals. Uh, typically what I've been winning most of the time here. And there's the roll. And keeping consistent, there's another ice elemental. All right, one more to go, guys. I will see you next time.